Welcome back to TechPress. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the great application of Trello, totally for beginners. A really easy tutorial, really easy process how to understand how to use Trello. The very first thing I want to do, of course, is to understand what exactly is Trello. This one is an actual flexible project management tool that uses board lists and cards to help you organize tasks and collaborate with your team. So it's perfect for managing everything from simple to-do list to complex projects workflow. First of all, I'm going to leave you, of course, a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now that we are inside the actual Trello section, what I want to do is to focus into signing up. Once again, with a link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description, you might be having access to Trello section here. I'm going to, of course, use my Google account to make this process much more faster. So here, I'm going to focus now into the understanding of Trello interface. Once you are logged at in, you will see that the actual Trello dashboard, this is where you can create and manage your boards. So a board represents your product at workspace where you can organize tasks. As you can see here, I have different boards into the left part. Here I should see that here I have all my card ideas and all of those elements. So to get started in creating a new element, let's go and create my very first new board. I'm going to click into this plus element and create a new board. You can create an actual new board based on an image, on a background, or whatever. So here in my board title, let's say to go for Tech Express and 2024. Now in the visibility, this is private, only for myself. And I start with an actual template. If starting with a template, you'll be helping me to see elements directly into this board. And I don't have to do like a lot of elements. Just try to figure out how I like to do uh, editing all those elements there. So if I choose, for example, the product management, I have the best ability once again, and I go for create. Now, as you can see, the board should be added into the left part. And make sure that you have seen all the elements here in the Trello. As you can see here is the actual board element for the product management. So if I click here into the board, I can try to change the custom view. In this case, we are only able to have an actual free trial of the board. So you don't have to worry about that. Now in this case, let's add a few listings. For example, there are free project resources. If you wanted to delete this element, I'm going to select this element and scroll all the way down so I can achieve this list. Now into this case, we have questions for next meeting. I'm going to go for social media ideas. Now inside here, what I need to do is to click into one element I would like to edit. Or even what I can do is to click here and try to go for achieved. So I'm going to start totally from scratch from this new section. I'm going to add my very first card. So let's say create a YouTube video about Trello for beginners. Add a card. So this is my idea created. If I click here, I have now so much more sections that I can just add into this idea. So for example, into the description, let's say for example, I have an idea about a YouTube video to uh, published on Monday 13 of July in the 2024. July 13th, right? July the 13th. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave this as it is. Here's an activity of what I've done so far. Members, label, checklist, dates, attachment, covers, and custom fields should be added later on. In this case, we can just leave it as it is. Now I'm going to show you something called the Power Apps. Now the Power Apps can be helping you to organize and integrate more elements directly into your Trello dashboard. So the Power Apps includes Jira, includes show descriptions, reports, services, Google Drive, so much more elements. So if I focus into the left part, you can see that we have elements designed uh, for, for example, let's say product and design, I can add balsamic, mock flow side, and so much more. Let's say that I focus here into marketing and social media. So what I can do is to choose one application that actually I use a lot. Into the upper side, I'm going to look out for Drive. So here it is Google Drive. I'm going to hit into Add, and this automatically should be, of course, focusing into adding the Google Drive directly into my account. I'm going to close this, go back into the project listing, and here's my power of Google Drive. So here into the power of of Google Drive, I'm going to go and create and attach. And I want to make sure that I have the authorization, of course, of the Google Drive account into Trello. So I click into authorized. I choose exactly the same account and I go for continue. Once I sign it in, I hit now into allow and I can go for continue. So I create a new Google slide, for example. And here is my attachment created into this idea. Once you finish one idea, I can save this into the to-do list. 
or moving into pending, moving into blocked, and so on and on as you finished more elements. Now, into the right pile, you have the shell post, where you can invite more people into your board. You can choose to be a member or a of server, that totally depends on how you like to get started with that. And lastly, you close the boards and the workspace. So managing your boards and the workspace by accessing the menu on the right side of your screen. Here, what you can do is to edit your board settings. You can change the background, you can change the view, you can even add stickers if you wanted to. And of course, drag it and drop directly into your board elements. That really depends on how would you like to customize your boarding menu. But since we do have now this element directly into our boards, we have now discovered how to use this for beginners. If I can totally suggest you to use templates, well, the upper side would have the template section where you can just use more boards into your customization of your Trello account. This is how, guys, we can start with a very fast boards here into Trello. So make sure that you have a free premium account with the link that I'm going to be leaving down below in the description for the next 14 days. That wraps up our beginner guide to using Trello. So we hope you find the steps helpful for organizing your steps. So guys, for more tutorials and digital tools for security, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching TechPress, your partner in digital innovation. Hopefully, you can all see you next time. See you soon.